Do you have parts of your lawn that looks like it's dying and it happened almost overnight? This could be a disease or a fungus called leaf blight. The technical name is Ascophyta leaf blight and it's super popular in bluegrass, which we have here in Colorado. You're gonna notice your grass has a straw, bleached, dead looking type of area there that's attacking the leaves. And it's what's happening is this leaf blight is a fungal bacteria that's living on the dead clippings and thatch in your lawn. If you look real closely, you can see the tips of the leaf blade on the grass start to bleach out and curl like this here. So what causes leaf blight in your lawn? And how did it come on so fast? Well, first of all, leaf blight loves conditions where we go from hot weather to wet conditions and then back to hot weather. It's the perfect environment to grow and just blow up completely, almost even overnight in a lot of situations. Dull lawnmower blades can also contribute to leaf blight, so make sure your blades are very sharp. You should sharpen your blade at least once a month if you're cutting the lawn yourself. Another thing that contributes to leaf blight is those areas are probably not getting enough water as they need. And leaf blight loves those areas that are dry and start to stress out a little bit. So a little more water in those areas can go a long ways. So what's the solution for leaf blight? Let's first talk about how it spreads. It spreads physically throughout the lawn. It can be spread by lawnmower wheels. And as you can see, a lot of times there's tracks in the grass because the lawnmower wheels are spreading it throughout the lawn. We always get a comment that says, the lawnmower must have gasoline on the wheels. It has these tracks in my lawns. That's not the case. That's the way it spreads. It also spreads physically by walking through the lawn. Now you have to mow your lawn and you have to walk through your lawn. So the best thing you could do is spray it with a fungicide. And that's a treatment that will keep this disease from spreading. And that's what you want to do. What's really nice about it is that the fungus does not attack the crown or the root of the plant, which means after you spray it and keep it from spreading, it will recover in about two or three weeks. The last thing you can do after you spray the area is to make sure you give it enough water a couple days after the application so it's very well irrigated and moist to help that fungus just dissipate and go away. So be on the lookout. One day you could have a green lush lawn and the next day it could look like this. And the best thing you could do is identify this problem quickly so you can spray it or have your lawn company spray it and take care of it fast so you can be back to a green lush lawn. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.